Weather portion of Ag Week now. We're getting into the height of summer now, the middle part of July, and yet we're not looking for real, any real heat into the midsection of the country. This is pretty common fare when it rains and rains and rains in one location in the summertime. All that evaporative cooling from all that rainfall has a tendency to keep the weather fairly cool. So this is not an unusual pattern. The heat is going west this week and next week it will remain and actually exceed and continue to be cooler in the middle of the country. One change we've been gravitating since June into July of a somewhat less rainy pattern. July weather is always rainy. There are going to be showers and thunderstorms. Some of those are going to be heavy, but not a lot of widespread organized really heavy precipitation. Jet stream through the middle may be a brief warm up midweek uh, this week, early in the week in the middle part of the week, but then the high hot weather up in Alaska, that's going to collapse a little bit. You may have heard stories about temps this weekend up in the 80s up in Alaska. Uh, that's actually going to cool down a bit and that's going to send the jet stream a little bit further south and the heat will be confined to the southern part of the U.S. through this week. Moving into next week, There'll be signs of a little bit of ridging over the western United States, not all the way up to Alaska, but enough to bring the hottest weather into the desert southwest. Monsoon season will begin there and send relatively mild to cool weather through the northern plains, the Corn Belt, and the Great Lakes states where it's likely to linger. As far as precipitation goes, there certainly will be showers, thunder showers, and some stormy weather. Looks like concentrations will be the southern plains through parts of the northern Corn Belt, but not a lot of really excessive rain is expected. The second week, now we're through mid-July, area of rain in the northeast. The deep south will get a little bit wetter, but most of the Great Plains and Corn Belt just slightly below average and cooler than average weather.